I've caught myself at times being like, okay, how can I make this deal work? I really want this house. And I'm like, how do I want this house? There's nothing special about this house. Keep to my numbers, see if it'll make sense or not. The, the message is, you know, ha you, you, you had to start somewhere, right? You had to start at your, your one rental property and you define your criteria how how did that progress right because you know 2011 to 2023 um there's a little bit of gap in time there but obviously was there a build-up period to where you really got in a groove of things or did you buy 10 a year for all of these years you know was it kind of like spaced out or was it pretty consistent throughout the whole time great question the the real build-up has happened in the last six and a half to seven years um that's when most of it has really gone up. It's the last two years um, that I think we've more than doubled our portfolio. Um, we had two years in a row that we just deals were coming through and it was post COVID and people getting rid of stuff and they were just amazing deals that if we would have wholesaled them, I would have made a killing. Right. But we had the ability, we had the financing to take them down. And it's like, you know, I mean, I, yeah, it'd be really nice to have that 15, 20 grand, Right. But I can get a lot more over time over here and we can float it. Um, so we went that route. Um, yeah. This year, I don't think we've added very many because we just kind of went, man, these last two years have been busy. They've been crazy. We've got other stuff going on. Let's let's focus on other things. Yeah. Yeah. And that's a beautiful thing is like recognizing, hey, this was a really good season to just go crazy, pick up all the good deals. It made sense. The financing was cheap. Um, this is a little bit different of a season, right? And then obviously you have another project, which we'll talk about, which is how anybody here listening today can really automate your REI business. And so with that being said, then John, what 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 are you seeing right now? Are you seeing the the numbers not making as much sense on on rental properties as you were two years ago? Yeah, certainly. Um, Oklahoma City has been a market that a lot of people came to looking for deals um, over the last few years because it was a, a great place to buy rentals and cash flow well. And there's okay. still deals that are there. Um, do they cash flow as well as they did before? No, but yeah. if we buy them now and we're able to cash flow some in five, 10 years, they're going to be cash flowing amazing. Um, so it's a, a calculated strategy there. Um they definitely are harder to buy now. I mean, interest rates are much, much, much higher than they were a few years ago. Right. Um, but you just have to build that cost into your numbers. And if you know you're going to pay two points, then build that into your numbers. If you know you're going to, uh, whatever the, the holding costs are, just build them in. And then that way you know if you've got a deal or not. Yep. It's yep, when you absolutely. start trying to push it. I've caught myself at times being like, okay, how can I make this deal work? I really want this house. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, why do I want this house? There's nothing special about this house. Keep to my numbers and see if it'll make sense or not.